Navy carrier scene you just watched demonstrates just how much progress has been made since the Wright brothers first flew nearly 100 years ago. But one thing remains unchanged to this day. The most critical phases of flight are approach and landing. Hi, I'm Hans Friedebach. I'm a general aviation pilot, and I invite you to join me to see if we can discover carrier pilot secrets. Considering the Navy's success in dealing with critical phases of flight, including approach and landing on a pitching carrier deck, let's see if we can find out what the Navy's secret is. I've asked David Trousdale, a former Navy jet pilot flying A-7s, a nine-month tour of duty in Vietnam, and also an advisor to Jim Francis' Angle of Attack Instrumentation Project, to tell us what's the Navy's secret. Well, as far as instrumentation goes, Angle of Attack is it coming aboard the ship. What about the trusty airspeed indicator? Well, you used that before and in other phases of flight, but in critical phases of flight, to the carrier pilot, it's angle of attack. Are there any other applications for angle of attack? Absolutely. Uh, experienced naval aviator uses it any time he's maneuvering the aircraft, such as tactical maneuvering against another aircraft. The angle of attack gauge gives you where the air aircraft is aerodynamically, instantaneously, whereas all the other instruments are, are of much less value. That's an amazing insight for a general aviation pilot like me. And I must admit, I've never looked inside a, a Navy fighter cockpit. What does this display look like? Well, there are two displays. One's a round dial, heads down. The other is a Chevron system, which is displayed heads up, which looks very similar to Jim's system. David, thank you very much. Oh, well, you're very welcome. I certainly would want to have one of these if I had a general aviation aircraft. Crosdale's explanation of the Navy's use of angle of attack instrumentation was really quite revealing. Dave mentioned that he acted as an advisor to Jim France in the development of Jim's angle of attack instrumentation for general aviation airplanes and general aviation budgets. Jim, angle of attack, kind of a buzzword. Explain to me, what does it really mean? Hans, angle of attack is the angle between the core of the wing and the relative wind not to be confused with attitude. To explain the difference, let's do a looping maneuver. Okay. Throughout the whole loop, we can maintain a constant angle of attack. However, your attitude will be changing between plus 90 degrees, back to zero, minus 90 degrees, and back to zero degrees again. I think, Jim, that's an important distinction. And you can see that attitude is something we recognize. It's displayed in the cockpit. Angle of attack, on the other hand, uh, is not visible. I don't have an instrument in my general aviation airplane. Uh, can you explain to us the underlying principles behind angle of attack instrumentation? Hans, come with me and we'll explain the principle. Let's do that. Okay. This is a Lancer wing and as you can see there's a small pressure port on the top of the wing. There's another identical port on the bottom of the wing. Both ports are located the same distance aft of the leading edge, but they're far enough aft to avoid ice and bug contaminant, which might migrate back as far as 12% of the cord. What we're interested in is getting the differential pressure between the bottom port and the upper port and dividing that by what's called the dynamic pressure, which we get from your existing pedostatic system. The angle of attack brain box is what does the divide. And it's microprocessor controlled and located in the cabin of your airplane. Later, we'll discuss how angle of attack is used to help us fly safer, and also how we calibrate the angle of attack instrument to your specific aircraft. What angle of attack design features would you like to see for your aircraft? To begin with, accuracy, fast response, no moving parts so it's reliable and rugged, no ugly protruding parts to slow me down or build up ice on. It should be lightweight. Ought to be easy to install. And last but not least, it's got to be affordable. Well, I can see that you're speaking for a large part of the pilot population. I have an angle of attack instrument that meets and exceeds your design criteria. Let's go see how it works in flight. Angle, push. 
AOA path.